Hola, hola, YouTube family. Um, ah, this is my second recording <laughs> with YouTube. The first one didn't work. Um, hello. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, today is my first day of doing a fast. And, um, what I did today was I didn't really eat much for breakfast. I had a kombucha tea. Then for lunch, I had a mango and some snap peas. And dinner was bananas, dates, tahini. Um, peas and carrots. All raw because I'm preparing for a fast on Saturday, meaning I'm not going to eat all day. So um, I'm going to do, today was raw, tomorrow's raw, but also um, not eating very much. And then, and then two days after the fast, I'm going to be eating raw as well, so that my body doesn't crash. Um, I... Um, I, I decided to do this because I I wanted um, I wanted to detox my body and fasting is one of the best ways to detox your body because when you eat a lot of times especially when you eat like heavy cooked food uh, all of your energy production goes into digesting the food and when there's not that much food in there and especially if there's raw food in there um, if there is food, which is, which is, takes less energy to digest, um, then you're able to, your body's able to devote all that other energy to detoxing, cleaning it, and getting rid of stuff that doesn't belong in there. Um, in fact, before I even ate lunch, not to gross you guys out, but before I ate lunch, I went to the bathroom three times, like, number two, like, holy moly, <laughs> you know, and we, you know, if, if, if your intestines have clogged stuff in them, that is just weighing you down, and if, if you have impaired absorption and digestion, that's the root of all disease, so by getting that stuff out, you are benefiting your entire body, your entire body, that's the foundation of your health, your physical health, right there, your intestines and your stomach, if they're not working right, you are not healthy, <laughs> so that's the main reason I'm doing it, um, also fasting helps with food allergies, if you have um, allergies or intolerances, um, <clears throat> if your stomach feels weird after you eat certain foods, um, even just slightly upset, um, that's probably a food intolerance, and fasting is a wonderful way, um, or at least I've read, that you can deal with those, because I, I was actually, um, tested, and I was diagnosed with a lot of, um, intolerances, and, um, some allergies that I never knew, never knew about, um, so this is what, uh, the angels have guided me to, do for myself and for my body. Um, uh, I don't know if many of you know this, but for most of my life, I've had issues with overeating. Um, I had issues with overeating. Kind of growing up, I kind of grew up in a household that mm, it, it uh, there wasn't a lot of love expressed. And, you know, not making them wrong. Just that was the fact. That was a fact. And I found that through food, I could get feelings of bliss, I guess, or just feelings of, um, feeling good in the moment, and, um, that has carried over into my adult, my adult life, um, for whenever I want to feel good or when I'm not feeling great, I want, I want sweets, I want emotional sweetness, and I have equated that want with emotional sweetness to sugar. And, um, 
that's not okay for me. That's not okay anymore. And another great thing about fasting is that it enables you to reassess your relationship with food. You know, if you don't have the best relationship with food, um, like I have in the past, you know, you may, you may want to consider fasting. I mean, one of the things I will say about fasting, if you do fast and you have um, blood sugar issues, like diabetes or hypoglycemia, which I have, I think, I, I feel like I have hypoglycemia, um, you may, um, one, one of the things that I do for that is I take alpha lipoic acid and chromium for, um, blood sugars, because, um, if I'm not going to be eating, if I'm not going to be eating very much, I need to make sure that my blood sugar stays level, and those two things help really well with that. So, um, I'm also taking magnesium, which also helps with blood sugar, and, um, actually it's the, there was a clinical study um, done on magnesium and they discovered that 80 between 80 and 90 percent of the people tested were drastically deficient in magnesium and uh, that's one of the things that I've just really started to get into is this magnesium thing and there's there's certain kinds of magnesium that are way better than others uh, most pill forms of magnesium are not very good you want to get ionic magnesium um, which is a powder form, um, I believe it's called me um, Natural Calm, you can get it at any health food store, um, it's called Natural Calm, and it's just magnesium powder, and it tastes sweet, and, um, it's absorbed wonderfully in the body, and it doesn't make you, doesn't make your stools loose or anything, but, um, it really helps with a lot of things, like energy and, um, w um, weight loss, if you're having troubles with, with weight loss, um, migraines, um, it really elevates your mood, makes you happy, makes you sleep, a lot of the common problems that we have, um, it's magnesium deficiency has also been linked to diabetes, heart disease, even cancer, um, ADD, um, the list goes on and on and on of these things that Americans are now, basically, it's running rampant, and 80 to 90 percent of people are deficient, your body does not store magnesium. So whatever you have, um, you know, at the end of the day, your body just, your body gets rid of it. And so you need a constant supply of magnesium and our soil is not rich in magnesium anymore because our soil is so poor, even organic soil. So there's no magnesium in our food. So you basically, it, it, you kind of have to take it. <laughs> um, anyways. There's my little diatribe on magnesium. It's really changed my life. I mean, I, my moods have, have really, really been better, um, like drastically better. I sleep better. I wake up energized. Um, I'm able to think clearer. I mean, like it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, and it's also linked to IBS. If you have any kind of intestinal problems, um, and even food allergies, it's linked to. And so I was just like, wow, I, I felt like I had all those things. So I started taking it. It's amazing. So natural calm. Natural calm. Go and get it. Um, let's see. I have a minute and a half. Well, um, yeah. So uh, like I said, it was bringing up a lot of stuff for me, um, helping me to reassess my relationship with food. You know, um, just not eating, I guess. You know, I was able to think more. I was able to think clearer, think about what's going on. And... Um, let go of some stuff that I don't need anymore. So, um, I've never actually done a fast. This is my first one. I've done, like, a breakfast fast where I would just drink kombucha tea instead of breakfast. That's about all I've done. Um, because, like I said, I've had issues with food, and, um, to me, giving up food was something that I don't, I never even fathomed because food was my only friend. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this, this is, this is kind of big for me, so, um, anyways, that's my first day of fasting, um, I'll, uh, I'll be putting up another video tomorrow about what happened, uh, what happened tomorrow, so you'll see me then, um, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon, namaste, Good night.